So I'm often asked while I'm in a Google Meet and I present my screen, how can I see the screen that I'm presenting, but also still be able to manage the students or the attendees in the chat? So this video hopefully will address some of that. So if I start um, or, or yeah, start a Meet and we're going to call it Book Talk because uh, why not? Um, basically, what we're going to do is jump into a Meet and I'm going to present my screen like you would normally see. Um, I'm going to mute my mic though, so I don't get feedback here on this. Um, but I'm going to present my screen and you'll see just uh, like you would normally see, you either can do the entire screen or an application window. Um, what I like to do is cancel this for a second because it does make sense if you can do a window, not your whole screen. The minute you go whole screen, if you do a full screen, all you're going to be able to see is what you're presenting to, to your attendees. Your attendees will still be able to see you in the screen, but you can't kind of manage that. So um, what I've done is I have two tabs open. One is meet and one is my best practices document, which I plan to share with my attendees. So I'm going to use an extension called tab scissors. Um, tab scissors just lives up in my extension. When I click it, you'll notice what it does is it pulls out the tab that I was on and the tab just to the left of it and kind of does a split screen. This is great because now I can resize this screen over here to the right to showcase some of my students and I can do the left screen so I can still see what's going on. So now when I'm in Meet and I click Present Now, instead of doing full screen or entire screen, I'm just going to do the application window and I'm going to say Best Practices. So now um, I would be showing the students what's going on on the left. It could be a read aloud book, it could be a document, a resource of some kind that I'm sharing with them, um, an experiment, whatever. And on the right, if I had people in my meet, I would still see them down the right side um, and I wouldn't have to worry about flipping back and forth or not understanding those. Now you're thinking, okay, Tab Scissors was great, now how do I get everything back? Luckily, there's another extension for that, and that is called Tab Blue. And tab blue literally just combines both tabs back together again. You'll see here's my best practices. And to the right is my new tab. So hopefully that helps when you're trying to present to a group of students and you want to keep your eye or tabs on those students uh, while you present yet another tab. Hope that helps. Talk to you soon.